This is breaking Martha Stewart wants to pay your rent and hang out with Brad Pitt and George Cooney. In fact, the 83-year-old lifestyle guru has put herself in the hot seat of a popular online game show in order to do just that, answering a series of family feud-style questions in a bid to rack up money that can be put toward paying the monthly rent of up to 10 people. Stewart is the latest star to step up for a pop culture grilling in Built Rewards popular rent-free series, an online game show in which CEO and founder Anku Jain asks a host of questions that enable his A-list guests to help program members score up to $2,500 to put toward their rent. Much like Family Feud, the game show requires its celebrity guests and built members to try and guess the most popular responses to a number of different questions. The more answers members get right, the more likely they are to win the jackpot. Am I going to be able to answer any of these questions? A nervous steward asks Jane 34 at the start of the show as he jokes, You did the Olympics, you can definitely do rent free. Martha Stewart has teamed up with Built Rewards to help pay the rent of up to 10 members. Stewart is the latest star to step up for a pop culture brilliant Built's Rent Free series, an online game show in which CEO and founder Anku Jane asks a host of questions to A-list guests. Stewart confessed during the show that she'd like to hang out with Brad Pitt and George Clooney. Built. Stewart who follows in the footsteps of last month's guest, Paris Hilton, is then asked to guess the top Halloween costume, that is, unique, for 2024. Her guess? An outfit inspired by her close friend Snoop Dogg's now infamous appearance at the 2024 Paris Olympics dressage event, at which he and Stuart donned matching riding gear to watch the competitors from the sidelines. Let me see. Snoop Dogg in a dressage outfit. She jokes as a big red X flashes on the screen, indicating her answer was not included in the top three most popular guesses. Moving on, Jane calls on Stewart to guess which celebrities would be the most fun to hang out with, according to Built members. Brad Pitt, George Cooney, she suggests, as yet more red crosses flash up on the screen. Undeterred, Stewart admits, See, I'd like to hang out with those guys. In addition to joining Jane for November's edition of Rent Free, which is available to Built Rewards members from October 28 to November 1, Stewart is also teaming up with the company's home design collection on a capsule curation of her favorite homeware items, while also offering her upcoming 100th book, which features a selection of her 100 favorite recipes. Stewart has owned many storied properties over the years starting with her famed Turkey Hill property in Westport, DCT. However, she is, in fact, a Built Rewards member and earns points of her own on rent that she pays for an unspecified property, according to a statement from the company. The Turkey Hill home was the first house that Stewart bought back in April 1971, paying just $46,750 for the do-it-yourself project. Stewart is a Built Rewards member. However, she has owned multiple properties over the years, including her first home in Westport CT, which she sold in 2007. In 1970, while I was living in New York City with my husband, Andy, and our young daughter, Alexis, we were told about a beautiful farmhouse for sale at 48 Turkey Hill Road South in Westport, Connecticut, Stewart recalled in a 2021 post on her website. The house, on attractive land that stretched south toward Long Island Sound and had once been an onion farm, came with two acres of deep, lonely soil, a few large trees, and not much else. There was no garage or barn, just a rickety picket fence and an unkempt yard. The house had been rented out to myriad families, including the famous novelist John Hersey, and had suffered obvious neglect. There was not much of a kitchen and no usable bathroom. The basement was damp, and there was no porch, terrace, garden, or driveway. But it had good bones, lovely windows, wide plank floors, and seven fireplaces. To us, it was perfect. 
a do-it-yourself project resplendent with opportunity for a reasonable price, $46,750. We closed on the property on April 22, 1971, and the first thing we did was plant an orchard of old-fashioned fruit trees. While she sold that home back in 2007, Stewart went on to invest in several other enviable real estate gems over the years, including a home in the Hamptons, a West Village penthouse, and a charming getaway on the remote Mount Desert Island in Maine. Many of those homes have since been sold. However, the Maine residence remains a 150-acre Katona, NY, farm that she purchased in 2001. Built, a loyalty program for homes and neighborhoods, allows members to earn points when they pay their rent. Those points can then be used to pay for anything from rent to dining out or fitness classes.